I mean, she was like, wow, you're as skilled in art as you are in um, as an actor. It looks like... That's very insulting. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I draw like a toddler, but I'm better at drawing than I am sure. at acting. No. Is that uh Well, that's going to give it away. Do you know what? What I'm drawing looks quite religious. I'm trying to not d do anyone any bad blood. I f kind of forgot if there's legs on this person or not. And I'm now butchering it, so... Um... I don't know. Uh, Maleficent? Yes. Yeah, well done. <clears throat> he, I mean, it was pretty good, wasn't it, actually? I should have I done just copied that poster over there. This is Maleficent, but a, t a terrible, terrible version. Okay, here we go. It looks, I mean, she would say, wow, you're skilled in art as you are in, um, as an actor. It looks like... That's very insulting. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this is one of my favorites as well. It's like a sort of... <laughs> my sister used to have uh, a lot of them on, on repeat. And la, okay, la la la. Right, but I don't know, I never really liked this one except for the song about, um, that the crab sings in it. It's a sort of fish, in The Little Mermaid. Yeah, there we are. Very good. <laughs> this is my little mermaid. I'm gonna recuperate now, I'm gonna make sure I'm, I'm doing someone a, a, a good favour and making them look great as they can be. Um, yeah, this is all right, actually. This is quite good. Uh, this is like, it looks like one of those space hoppers. What is that? I know what that is. Is that beard? I used to do a bit of art. I used to like, I still do a bit of painting. Definitely yeah. horns, isn't it? Isn't that, is that Connell? No. Is it Bora? Yes. Yeah. So I had to, I ran out of space. So it is here. This is what a fine art degree gets you, people. These kind of skills to pay the bills. <laughs> <laughs> I embarrassingly have a fine art degree and I still draw like that. And my favorite artists are like very childlike. Cy Twombly, Jean-Michel Basquiat. So I, I, you know, express myself like a three-year-old. That's my excuse. I'm seeing four people and someone in a Hawaiian grass skirt over there. Or is that a giant with a foot? No, there's more than four people. There's lots of people. Is that a giant? That's a giant. Someone's bigger than everyone else. I, w I wonder, I wonder, what would Snow you White and the Seven Dwarfs. <laughs> there's seven of them. I've got it. What do you think that is? What, do you, what would you say? This should be a good one. I don't know. I hope you've seen this movie. This is one of my favorite characters from all of Disney. S uh, it's a snowman. Mm-hmm. He's the greatest. Uh, oh my God, right. He's one of the best Disney characters ever. I'm not much of an artist. Recent times in a very successful movie. Mm -mm -mm. I mean, I thought I felt, I felt mm -mm -mm. quite good with Snowman. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm humming the song. Oh, go on, go it. it again. Mm -mm -mm. Let it go. <laughs> yes. <laughs> What's the snow? I don't. Have, have you have you not seen Frozen? <laughs> I mean, I can't remember that. I've seen parts of it. The masterpiece that is Olaf. One of my oh, favorite yes. characters, a character of depth and meaning. I mean, there were times I was on the wire, you know, getting horns uh, entangled with Angelina and you know, me and Chiwetel banged horns on occasions, and I'd, you know you'd have claws flying off and flying around when, when you're when you're up in the air. That that was that was pretty. Watching funny. Ed pretend he wasn't scared of heights. Yes. Was probably. <laughs> Did you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh man. I could tell by oh, that. Oh man. Cold sweat. Yeah. yeah, I'm genuinely scared of heights. I sort of chose not to be, Tough and guy. chose not to tell anyone. Tough guy in the movie. They say a hero feels the same thing that a coward feels, and I felt like a coward up there, <laughs> but I got on with it, so maybe I'm a hero after all. We had some good times. I mean, also, I mean, Harris and I, we had some really good times too, because he put, you know, Prince Philip. We wanted to do a spin-off like Prince Phil the musical. <laughs> so we like, we would create like songs about Phil, like doing things. That was quite fun. <laughs>
Why not? Yeah, I think Prince Phil. I think that's a great idea. <laughs> Phil, Phil, Phil. Doing something. Something that rhymes with Phil. I had to make a speech in front of 400, 500 people. Angelina included and Elle and everyone was sort of looking at me. I think I had to shout and I had to say something and I, and I, and I, was, and I was meant to be, you know, sort of powerful and commanding and I, and I was like, um, yeah, can I, <clears throat> can I, and it was, it was embarrassing and, and stupid and uh, yeah, I tried to forget that, but you've, you've, you've made me revisit it. I mean, Angelina and I, we went bowling, we went, we went paintballing, so we would have outings on the weekends a lot. Watching Angelina try and play table tennis in full cloak and horns was pretty, that was pretty funny. She's still good, obviously. There's sometimes a bit of downtime, especially on these big ones where they're rejigging lights, whatever. The boys did like a championship thing. Angelina and I, we played in our costumes because we thought, it, we're like, this is hilarious. Maleficent and Aurora playing ping pong in our costumes. It was, so we, we did that. You know, I played a lot against Harris, mostly. Angie turned up once or twice, but now, you know, she was, I think she's good at everything. I don't know, how, how uncomfortable did you feel? I felt uh, all right, and uh, you know, initially it was difficult because uh, the horns were quite heavy mm -hmm. at, the, at the beginning. Um, but then they did some work on the horns, you know, because it started to tip your head forward, mm. uh, which is probably why horns, you know, why that is actually the thing for horns. But uh, when you're trying to act and you want to, you know, keep your head up, you know, it was quite difficult just balancing. So they did some, they worked on them and they mm. hollowed them out and they changed them, and so then you could clip them on, on and off, which was good. Also for the getting entangled, you know, because you get the horns entangled not just with other actors, but mm. also on the wires, which could be yes. also painful. And then that's connected to everything else. The hair, I mean, it could be a whole mess. And we haven't mentioned the Faye's greatest nemesis, doorways. You know, you think you know your height and you walk through a doorway. I've done it my whole life. I'm fine. I just walk through doorways. I'm cool. Not with horns on. <laughs> Bang! You know, you feel, you're feeling like this, Fey warrior with all these powers and you know this amazing dialogue, and um, and then you smash your head on a on a doorway just before you go on set, and that'll humble you. They're pretty loose, like the ones, especially in the beginning that I got to wear. I'm barefoot, you know, very like free. So that that was nice. I, I the ones that were uncomfortable was I Aurora kind of changes, and Queen Ingrid Michelle Pfeiffer's character kind of gets a hold of her and her hair goes up and I have a corset on and those were those were stuffy. Mine was fine, mine was quite nice. I didn't have anything that um, restricting. I mean, it was quite tight at the beginning. I had to get used to the sort of constriction that you get on your neck and the whole, it makes you stand differently as well, you know? You, you get sort of stitched into this this, this jacket thing and, and, uh, and other than that, it was all right, you know, everyone had a lot more difficult costumes than I. You know, I like my costume. It was kind of hot. It was very hot that summer in London. And it was, you know, leather weather, it was not. Nothing, <laughs> nothing. The, sometimes they would put, you know, X's and sticks and tennis balls and things occasionally, if it had to be a real specific place, but for, when I'm in the moors and all the creatures are there, they can kind of put them wherever you're looking. So if I just, re wherever I look and if I truly, you know, imagine them, then they'll kind of disappear when I watch the movie. But it does feel like you're just looking at a lot of little, you know, imaginary friends constantly. Often an orange cross, you know, is what we're, we're sort of staring at and they say that's in Queen Ingrid's castle or whatever. Yeah, green screens, blue screens. But we're quite high up, so you know you're concentrating on not hitting mm. the ground as well, you know, as much as anything else. We're flying, you know, four of us are in formation, so we're looking at each other as well. So you're not completely alone. These really uh, talented puppeteers that that sort of do do the movements of the creatures so that are actually like moulded, so you can see what they look like. Well, the bits where I'm transforming are all done on camera. All I have to do is. Like if I'm turning from a man into a bird and flying off, I have to sort of jump up in the air. And it looks pretty ridiculous. Thank God the special effects guys make it look look cool. Because in the in the moment I'm doing it, it looks daft. 
Damn. It's very interesting. In, in a weird sort of way where you would hopefully get paid twice, I'd quite like to see us in The Lion King. Right, I'd get paid. You wouldn't. You, you get paid wouldn't. twice, I'd that's only good. get once because you'd be scarred. I think that's fine. No, no, Connell. right there. That's yeah. good. Yeah. Okay. But my pay is double yours anyway, so <laughs> yeah, you know, it would just exactly. be even. Yeah, yeah. Disney, they do, like, they have so many movies. <laughs> so I'm like, I, I love Pinocchio. I think that'd be kind of weird, though. I, or maybe she could hang out with him. You know, I love Benny Wong, that's the thing. So I would do a crossover with Wong as me, and we would... Uh, I would love to see that. <laughs> we carry on on our own little adventures. Can I just be an extra and have yeah, a cameo in there, yeah? And get paid double? Paid half. Oh, okay. Yeah. I like Taskmaster. He's, he's, he's an amazing villain. That um, His skill is as soon as he fights anyone, he immediately knows their fighting style. So he's like... The kind of he, he can he fight Spider Man. He can fight like Spider Man. He fights Hulk. He can fight like that. So that would be a fun one to learn the choreography, and and, and he is a, a fun character. I can't compete with the existing ones. I would have to create my own, right? Like the Invisible Woman or something. That probably exists. Absolutely. I think that's a. It's an impressive world to, to enter. I don't know anyone in particular. I, I'd like to play maybe a, a, a villain I think, or, or sort of obscure character of some kind. I don't know. It'd be, be interesting to. To do that. 